Welcome to this Comet replay on Himmelsdorf. The Comet here is being played by Suffy Wuffy from F15 and he's platooned up with the Philhaha from F15. I found this replay on our forums actually under the Hall of Fame and I was really really impressed by the game itself. I mean, you can see Suffy Wuffy obviously plays the Comet quite a lot. He's got two gun marks on it. Um, I've got two gun marks on it as well. I'm striving to get the third one at some point. I just really love this tank. Um, it's a really nice balance between gun depression, DPM, some effective armor and quite quite a good speed actually. Um, personally I prefer this tank over the Cromwell uh, because the gun handling is just so much better. And even though the penetration is 148 on the standard rounds, uh, it's it's still manageable if you um, either know where to shoot or can position position your tank very well, uh, so you the, the sort of low penetration doesn't really matter. So Safi moves up on the hill, and at first we get this Hellcat here who doesn't seem to be interested in aiming. So Safi puts a shot in, pulls back Hellcat. Uh, shoots randomly into the wall, don't know why. And Safi punishes him. The Hellcat makes sort of a beginner's mistake by just driving out of cover uh, to get away from the situation. But if you've got nowhere to drive to, you should not drive away. You should actually remain in cover and try and put more fire in. Puts a nice shot into the 5916 and then he Manages a critical hit on the 5916, gets shot in the side by the M4, and now he receives quite a lot of fire. His ammo rack was damaged, he repairs that, and now there's the Cromwell. He Sophie is on half health, and the Cromwell makes the mistake of trying to drive and shoot at the same time. While that works with the Comet um, at greater speeds, it doesn't with the Cromwell, its aim time is just too bad for that. And now we've got this IS here, full health. Safi knows where to shoot, but he loads the premium ammo just as a precaution because it's yeah, it's a full health IS and he's on 437 HP. There to or uh, there to 29 does something, and then here comes the artillery because XVM focus. So Safi unfortunately loses 414 health to the RT. And is now on 23 HP and a one shot for everything. Um, his radio operator unfortunately got killed, but that's that's one crew member. You don't want to waste a, a, a mad kid on. And that is, I think, as well why Wargaming in some future patch was thinking about putting the sixth sense on the radio operator. Because currently if he dies, no one bothers to use a repair or a, a, a mad kit on him. But if they put six sands on him, you have to actually use a repair or a mad kit on him. And that makes people just lose more mad kits, which means that they have to buy more. And that in turn means more income and more playing for wargaming. So yeah, uh, a bit of a dirty tactic if you ask me. But hey, I'm not the game developer. I'm just a player. So at this moment Safi wants to see if he can hit the Jagdpant or any other tank. Um, since he's a, a one shot he needs to be very careful. He got spotted by the IS there I think. Tries to plant one into the engine deck but it's not really working. Jagdpant drives out to take a shot. But Safi takes him out with a premium round right through the front plate. In these kinds of emergencies, I mean, uh, using premium ammo is totally legit, uh, especially if you're, you're a one shot, because then all your shots count. So, so far we've got two and a half thousand damage, 4,400 W and 8, 8 kills, so that's already a Ratley Walters in the bag, but there's more to be done, and yeah. His platoon mate unfortunately already died. The T29 is desperately trying to cap, which in this situation is definitely not really the right thing to do because you're completely outnumbered, so capping will just make the enemy know where you are. Uh, Safi is really lucky that the T29 had horrible aim and shot into the wall next to him, but he managed to set the T29 on fire, so yeah. 
already T29 on half health. Remember, this is the second tier 7 heavy that he's just engaging pretty much one on one at the start. And he's just making them look silly. So, second fire, there we go. Complete T29 in damage. So, up to 3600 damage. Nine kills. So, yeah, it's going quite well. 9600 W and 8. And then we've got this uh, Skoda. T29 is still in the gap. He manages to survive pretty long. But now Safi needs to move because uh, their base is capped as well. And he's got just over a minute to decap. Otherwise they lose. So he moves down the hill. Unfortunately T29 dies to the Skoda. Um, Skoda is quite a nice tank actually. It's being used in clan or in uh, strongholds quite a lot. Because it's got that really nice fast autoloader. So yeah, it's, it's, it's sort of a more effective chi re. Safi shoots the Skoda. Which was quite funny because it went right through the turret of the T29 or the the lag just made it look like that for some reason. So and he kills the M4 in quick succession. So 11 kills, 3,800 damage and over 10,000 W and 8. The Nashorn is thoroughly impressed with what Safi so far managed to do, and I was as well actually. Um, it's a reason why I featured this replay, um, but um, I'll let you know more when we get to the medals and the stats later on. 12 seconds, 10 seconds, 9 seconds. IS is in the base, Safi puts one shot in and pulls back. So that's the third tier 7 heavy that he needs to engage, which is completely full health. And here he wanted to wait before he pulled back so the IS didn't know where he went but he didn't wait long enough uh, to for that because ideally you should wait until the enemy is despotted because then there's a good chance that you'll be despotted as well and then you should move because then neither of you knows where the other one is going but Safi pulled back and is going all the way around to the other side, which is the smart thing to do in this uh, sort of engagement. Because the IS is probably aiming the other way, which gives Safi a really nice time before his turret is rotated all the way back to put some fire in. So IS is looking in a completely different street, but Safi puts one shot into his engine deck. There we go, nice fire. The IS. He's not even bothering to turn his turret, now he does, but it's way too late. He burns down. And... The killing shot. So, that is 12 kills in a combat. Arguably not a superstar enemy team, but still a really, really, really good performance. And the reason initially why I chose this replay is the massive 2093 base XP that is without or before any additions to it. So that's 2000 bare XP. Not only that, but also the Pulse Medal. Crucial contribution because uh, 12 kills in the platoon, even though Safi did all of them. Uh, we've got a Defender. Because he decapped the IS. We've got a high caliber obviously because of the 5000 damage he'd managed to do in this match. And a top gun. Uh, which is sort of a, a useless medal when you've got the pools obviously. But it's a nice one to have. So yeah. 2000 base XP on a Comet is what a match like this looks like. So I really hope you enjoyed the replay. I certainly did. If you did feel free to rate it. Uh, subscribe to the channel. And see you guys next time.